Anita Evans here for Video Language Network, the unique website for authentic English video lessons. Here at Video Language Network, we believe that improving your English begins by watching and listening to English as it is spoken in the real world. Let's begin our lesson by watching and listening to what Andy, an American expat, has to say about living in Paris and Copenhagen. Are you ready? Let's watch. Hi, Anita Evans here in Switzerland. We're here today with Andy Hagen, an American expat who has lived in many European countries. Hi, Andy. Hi, Anita. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thanks for inviting me. Tell me a little bit about Paris. How did you like living there? So I just loved being there. I loved the pace of the city. I loved the beauty. I loved the language. I loved my friends there. It was great. Tell me a little bit about Copenhagen. How did you adapt to living there? Well, Copenhagen was very different for me than London or Paris had been because culturally London and Paris is more like the States than Copenhagen is. Copenhagen is really entering into a different culture. Um, which I found fascinating to experience. The difference um, in thought on social issues, the um, socialist government that they have there, um, their very um, homogenous nature of their population, which is changing now and how they are adapting to that change, was very interesting for me to learn about while I was there. So, how did it go? If you found the interview a challenge to understand, don't worry. This is normal. Let's continue. When I asked Andy how she liked living in Paris, she said she loved being there. Americans use the word love a lot. This is a big part of their culture. You may understand this word love in terms of romance. But in America, you will hear friends and family members say that they love each other. This may sound unusual in your culture, but it is very common in the United States. Americans often say that they love something, like, I love broccoli. Now, why would you love a vegetable? For Americans, to love something means to like something very, very much. For Americans, the verb love may be applied to many and all things. Other cultures use the word love only for deep and intimate feelings. And many think the Americans overuse the verb love. In English, we can often make a noun into an adverb by adding the ending L-Y. Andy talks about Copenhagen as a very different culture. She also says that London and Paris were culturally more like the United States. Andy's use of the adverb culturally means from the perspective of a particular culture. For example, I live in an Eastern culture, but I am culturally a Westerner. Andy describes the culture of Copenhagen as being very interesting to learn about. Let's discuss the differences between adjectives that end in ing and adjectives that end in ed. This is a point of grammar that confuses foreigners. Interesting versus interested. How do we know the difference? Adjectives ending in ing describe what things are like. For example, the play was interesting. Adjectives ending in ed describe how a person feels. For example, I was interested in the play. Here's another example. We had an interesting conversation. 
We were interested in his point of view. We hope you have enjoyed today's mini lesson from Video Language Network. For more free lessons like this one, plus our super expanded version, join us at our website at www.videolanguagenetwork.com. At our website, you can also download transcripts, vocabulary aids, and exercises that will help you improve your English language skills. Well, that's all for now. Look for us next time on your local podcast sites. This is Anita Evans for Video Language Network.